This is Ben from Life in 360. And this is Austin from youtube.com forward slash Austin Newman. And in this video, we're going to show you how to place graphics and text inside of your 360 video in a way that they don't show up warped. So previously I've released a video which shows you guys how to place text inside of your 360 videos in Premiere. And to be perfectly honest, that was the lazy way of doing it. Just just um, writing up your text and placing it in there without doing anything. However, with this new Adobe CC Premiere Update 2018, you can now place your text within a 360 space. So later on, when you view it in your spherical mode, it then shows up as straight and not warped. So this is a crucial difference because if you do it the lazy way, your text and your graphics are going to end up warped. That's right, inside Adobe Premiere Pro, especially with the new update, they've included a slew of new 360 tools that you can use right here inside natively in Premiere Pro. And one of those happens to be VR Plane to Sphere, which is a very useful tool for doing exactly what Ben is mentioning, which is putting text, graphics, anything that you want to include inside a VR space or a 360 space so it plays very well and meshes with the curvature of the footage. So we're inside Adobe Premiere Pro CC 20 2018 now and inside Adobe Premiere I'm under my effects panel I'm going to type in immersive and you'll see under video effects immersive video we've got a bunch of new tools here available to us and one of those is VR plane to sphere and this is the one we're going to be working on to achieve what we're looking for here we've already dragged these onto our clip so I'll just show you kind of what we've come up with in this time that we've been playing around with this effect so I've got a couple different options here you'll see a couple of different clips we've muted some that you can't see the other effects. So right now the one that you're looking at right here is this top clip. This top clip we've put on VR plane to sphere. We have a frame layout as monoscopic and we've changed up a couple of the values here. Now everything's going to depend on the graphic that you're using, the size of it, the scale that you want inside the space. In our settings we've used 122 for the scale. We didn't really change much with the feather or anything else like that but we did mess with the rotating of the source and the rotating of the projection but once again you do want to customize this to what you're putting inside this space. And what you're seeing right here might look a bit funny, and I know we said before we want to avoid warping, however, this is pre-360 viewer. So when we view this inside 360 viewer, this is going to then straighten out, and it's going to look perfect when you look down. And it'll really help you get nice looking graphics and text in the, the top and bottom of your video, because often those are the places that are affected the most by warping. Normally the middle zone is pretty safe and you could drag any kind of graphic in there. But when you're working in 360, the top and bottom of your video is going to be the most affected by warping. So when we do look at this inside the 360 viewer, you'll notice it does look straight. And he mentioned the 360 viewer. We can have that inside Adobe Premiere. And I think it's even in 2017 yeah. as well, you can get this button. But just in case you don't have this button, right inside here, if you hit this little plus button, it'll have a little icon under here. You're looking for this one right here, toggle VR video display. So if you don't have it, click the plus button and you can simply drag that down into your toolbar. We've already done it so we don't need to do that and we're going to go ahead and dive into that VR layout now. So I'll go ahead and click this button and we can see immediately we're in a VR layout and that text that was once warped there at the bottom is now straight. It's in this space exactly how we want it. We just want it nice and straight. So if you wanted to just put this in this space and you didn't actually add the VR plane to sphere effect, it would look something like this and I'll go ahead and show you what we had before. It'll look incredibly warped and as you were mentioning it, it warps pretty bad at the bottom. Yeah exactly so what you're seeing now looks great on the normal equirectangular video however it's warped later so essentially this is why we need to be warped to begin with so when we do bring it into that 360 viewer it's going to straighten out because ultimately with 360 videos you're going to need it to look really good inside the 360 viewer which is why it's important to use that VR tool just so you can see what the end result is going to be like so you can know if you're going to get any extreme warping and that's why this makes this such an incredible tool and not only for text we can also use this for a graphic you gave me your graphic earlier for your name card and your yeah. social icons and everything so well, let's go ahead and swap over to that and we can actually just play through the video here and we will see this pop up right above your head now this actually looks great 
yeah. in this view. However, let's switch <laughs> to a VR mode and we'll see how that drastically changes. Look at that, you can barely read my name. Everything is askew. That's just not looking good at all. I would not feel good about publishing that. Absolutely, and like you were saying, this looks absolutely great in this player. In the VR player, it looks terrible. And we did already go ahead and add the VR plane to Sphere in a separate line here that I have have hidden. So let's go ahead and unhide that and remove the other one. We can see it looks terrible in this regular equi rectangular view. But we'll go back to the VR player, and once we look at this, it looks beautiful yeah, right here. That? It fits perfectly in here. It just looks like it belongs. And I just want to add, this graphic was made in Adobe After Effects. So whenever you're bringing in graphics into Premiere and you want to turn them to 360, you can start with them in After Effects to begin with. Do whatever kind of animation you want, whatever kind of effect, export it with a clear background and then bring it into Premiere and then we need to adapt it to 360, which is where we use this plugin. It's so important to know all of these tools available to you as a filmmaker and especially a 360 filmmaker. Adobe is really stepping up to the plate when it comes to this really nice immersive experience. So you have to know these tools in order to move forward, to innovate and to keep up with the trends. Yeah, I have noticed that Adobe have significantly improved their VR playback in their latest update. Clearly they're gearing more and more towards the 360 shooter, which is awesome. It's gonna make life a lot easier for us and hopefully make the workflow faster and just make our end result look better. So this is super exciting. Definitely give it a go. It's, a, it's free with the latest update. So check it out and also check out this guy on YouTube. This guy is the Premiere Guru, he's the king. If you need to know anything about Premiere, especially if you're into editing regular videos like I do all the time, his channel will teach you everything. Where can they find you? You can find all of my Premiere Pro tutorials right here on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Austin Newman. And you can find me at youtube.com slash life and 360 photo. Just hit that subscribe button down there. You can also find my work on Instagram at Austin Makes Films. Yep, and I'm at Ben Claremont. Premiere is basically the most popular 360 video editor. So I'd strongly suggest checking it out. It's my editor of choice. It's Austin's editor of choice. Absolutely. So absolutely, I'd 100% recommend Premiere. It's essentially video editing for idiots. So that's why um, Premiere and I are just perfectly suited to each other. All right, guys, until next time, keep capturing your world in 360. This has been Ben and Austin. We'll see you in the next video.